Well, hello and welcome to our August 2021 market update. Boy, it's been a heck of a year for us so far. In fact, we very much appreciate all the great business we've been referred. We had 23 homes we closed in the month of July, virtually a record year for us. So thank you for all of that. So let's talk about what's happening in the marketplace. Again, I wanna go over the market statistics, which people like to hear about, and then what's happening because of those, and then kind of a really interesting example of how interest rates have a huge impact on the cost of housing. So as we look at our um, market stats, we've noticed similar um, situation in terms of number of homes on the market still down from last year, a little over 40%. So you've been hearing that a lot. Here's where the big change has come. This past month in July, and even in June, the number of pending sales was down in both months, 10% in June, about 12% in July. So for about, no, I'm from about June or July of last year. So for about 12 months, Everything has gone up in terms of sales and pendings. It is now down, okay? We had a little drop as well as closed sales around 2%. So this is gonna be a little bit of change and it's kind of reflecting what we're seeing. Now, new homes coming on the market, still coming in at a little bit slower rate, but what we're seeing is a few things play out here. What we're noticing is fewer buyers on the marketplace, okay? It was bound to happen. I mean, we had a ton of buyers. We have fewer multiple offers, all right? So where we might've had you know, five or six offers on certain homes. Now we might have one or two and, and many homes are not getting offers. Doesn't mean every home is selling and getting multiple offers. So multiple offers are lower. Third, I'm seeing it harder for people to raise prices. So for the last 12 months, if your neighbor sold for one price, you could add on to that and you would get that price or more. Now we're seeing people trying that and it's not really taking effect. So maybe a little more leveling of prices, right? So what does this mean for us? We still have multiple offers, just negotiated one last week on a home that was listed and we got eight offers and went up to 950 from 800. That's the, um, that's a little bit more the exception of the rule, but it's still happening in certain segments of the market. Now let's talk about interest rates because this is what's helping people who want to buy right now. I went back three years ago to 2018 compared to today and I took some condos or I would call them planned unit developments. You own your lot, small houses, all similar. So it's nice to make a comparison with those types of homes. In 2018, there were a couple of sales at 520. Right now, there's a couple of sales around 575. So about a $55,000 increase in price. Now, let's just round down and say it was only worth 518 and that sales are up to 600. So a hundred thousand dollar increase or a 20% increase. If a buyer is looking at the cost of housing on a $500,000 purchase with 20% down, you're gonna need a loan for 400,000. Your payment at 4.5%, which is the key, 4.54% in 2018, the average rate was $2,036. Today, you raise it up to 600,000 on a purchase instead of five, your 20% down brings you a loan of 480, so an $80,000 higher loan at today's 2.875%, and your payment is actually $1,991. It's less. Now you've got to put 20,000 more to buy that same house, okay? That's not insignificant. But look at this, at the end of five years, at the lower rate that you would get today on a higher priced home, you would have paid off at the end of five years, $54,000, and on the higher rate, 35,000. So the people that bought at 4.5% are gonna have a higher, it's gonna take longer to pay that loan off and the, the principal goes down slower. If you go 10 years, the payoff at today's rate is 116,000 versus only $79,000. So the impact of interest rates is enormous. So if you're thinking of buying a property and you're gonna be in it for a while and you can lock in at three or 2.875, which is where rates are, you're gonna have a very, very attractive payment. And if people buy cars based on payments, a lot of buy houses on payments, those rates are what's making the difference. So if you have any questions about the market, how to take advantage of us, call us immediately, 805-781-3750. Again, thank you and have a great day.